because I can do quick videos. Yeah, I can do quick videos. I thought, let's just talk about wallpapering because we've touched on wallpapering before. And now I've, well, I'm in a room that actually um, allows me to show you how you should professionally be pasting your wallpaper. None of this just slapping it on. I'm talking about proper wallpaper that you have to paste the wallpaper, not pasting the wall. We've done pasting the wall on other videos, but pasting the paper. So I'm going to edit this. You're going to show, I'm going to show you how um, you actually paste wallpaper professionally. Obviously cutting the lengths, you've got them stacked up, just use three or four, don't go any more than that. If you've got really expensive paper, you'll probably paste in one roll, uh, one length at a time off the roll. Um, but when you've got three or four, um, or even a few more if you're doing lining paper, just work with the top one, pulling the ones below towards you. And the video that I'm going to show straight after this is um, it's actually been done properly. It's been done with a brush. It's been used uh, with tub paste, uh, Wix tub paste. We like Wix tub paste. Um, obviously applying it by hand. We haven't got a, a machine for it today and we're not using a roller. Those are the things you can do if that's what you want to do. But for the basics of somebody learning how to do pasting professionally and not getting paste all over the paste table, not getting paste all over the um, underlying lengths of paper, meaning it double soaks, which you don't want to do. Um, expensive paper don't want to be soaking more than it needs to be. Obviously, read your instructions. Instructions like these will tell you what your soaking times are. Make sure your batch number's right. All the basics, but this is going to be a video, a quick video, just to show you how to paste professionally without getting paste everywhere. A um, little bit in slow motion i've got my father to do the pasting while i video it um once you get into doing your pasting you speed up but i did tell him just to slow down so we can get the idea of how um, you need to be doing it but yeah watch this you can see paper's coming on nicely and i'm showing you how to paste professionally thank you right we've got a bit of a masterclass on wallpapering let me just describe what we've done. We've cut off how many rolls have we cut? Lengths have we cut off? We've cut four, we've got three, got four lengths of paper. Now, the secret is, is not to get any paste actually onto the board. So you've got your four lengths stacked up. Now, what Doug's going to do is going to shuffle the three lengths under the top one below him, and then the top one goes above him. Now, what you're doing is overlapping by few millimetres, quarter of an inch. Your paper that you're not using is there. Now you start in the middle, use that as your reservoir and then paste out. Never draw your brush back across yourself or else what you're going to do is get paste on that edge there and then that goes onto your board. And then when you're moving your paper about, your board then gets paste on it and that's what you don't want to do. So this is your master classing pasting professionally paste half the top now some people's going to say you can use a roller yeah you can use a roller roller use whatever you feel comfortable with you've got to know that you're getting the right amount of paste on now you can see what's happening now we're shuffling up the under lengths and we're bringing the top length down now that paste there won't be going over that paper so there won't be any paste on the paper underneath, meaning that's getting double soaked. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to double, double soak your paper. So you can see what's happening now. We're doing the second half. We've got the paste tubs stacked on a toolbox to keep the height. You can see what we've done. We've virtually done a full length other than the bit that doesn't fit on the board. Now, this is just an end-to-end -end fold, not a concertina, just end-to-end. -end. Now, this is the secret. Line it up as you drop it back down. These are lining up now. Don't flatten it over. Don't over flatten it on these. Let's get it down so all the edges match, then it's not drying off. Now, thankfully, this is a pre-pasted paper, so the paste that we're using is just thin down tub paste which is ideal it does say you can use tubs of water but that's very amateurish never ever done that just thin down your paste make sure you get a good coating on it 
let it soak in and it's virtually ready to hang. So you can see we're now doing the lower half of the length of paper. This length of paper measured 2.1. So you'll do the top part, well, fold it over and then the lower part, you're folding it into itself. This is quite a quick soak time, so we give it 15, 15 to 30 seconds, then we'll be hanging it on the wall. That's what we've done. So that's it, masterclass in professionally pasting your paper without getting paste onto your paper that's underneath and also without getting paste onto the board. And that's how you do it. So over and out. So what did you think of my actual video of showing you how to paste wallpaper properly, like a professional? You see this? It's my laser liner. Yeah, laser liner. Brilliant. Don't wallpaper without a laser liner. If you're a professional painter and decorator, make sure you got a laser liner. That's on another video. But no, going back to wallpaper pasting um, on a table, a proper, we've got a proper paste table. I'll show you what I mean by proper paste table. Look at this. Proper paste table. Oh. None of you 9.99 from B&M. It's a proper paste table. So I've shown you how to do proper pasting. You should be raring to go on this one. And um, that's it, it's a quick video. You can do thumbs up, comments, like and subscribe. We've now got over 600 um, subscribers, which is great. The sooner we get to a thousand, the better. I'm not sure whether I get to a thousand and YouTube send me um, an ornament, I'm not sure. Um, we've also got quite a few hours of viewing off the other videos, so thanks for that. I'm looking at getting the Porsche probably by the end of the year. Well, maybe not, but might get the Porsche, but not through. Um, YouTube. Right. Like and subscribe. We've had the joke. Thanks for watching. You can see paper's looking lovely.